And a, a very good morning. I'm at the Stanford University, and uh, we just had a nice tour through the lab. But now we're going a bit more in depth. What is really happening here? Can you explain me a little bit more of the work you're doing here? Sure. So I study something called protein trafficking. Uh, what that is is that our cells make take our DNA, turn it into protein, um, and once the protein's made in the cells, there's actually a very regulated pathway that takes the protein from where it's made to where it needs to be in the cell to do its job. Uh, we think of it like roads that our delivery trucks take the protein to where they need to go. And what we find in a lot of heart disease is that those pathways become uh, messed up. And in PLN disease too, we I have some data showing that the delivery pathways are uh, dysregulated. And so for my research, I take the patient IPS cardiomyocytes and I look in those uh, cell lines and I'm looking at the protein trafficking to see how the proteins are being made and delivered. And then I'm also looking at different drug candidates that could fix that pathway. And so that's what I'm working on right now. So you find some candidates, some small molecules, which can do the job? Yes, and I'm looking right now at some already made um, drugs that are used for other purposes and to see if we can change the dosing of it can we actually uh, fix the, the roads that take the proteins to where they need to go? And so we're looking at that in the PLN disease specifically. Yeah, it would be highly interesting because these are drugs which are already on the market. Exactly. Which you can use. Yeah. Exactly. But then I think Miriam takes it yeah. up from there. <laughs> can you tell yeah. us a bit more about your work? Uh, yes, exactly. So uh, I'm going to pursue an another steps so we are gonna have uh, our candidate of proteins or drugs that we are interested to see the effect so I'm gonna uh, test on the in vivo experiments so basically and mostly on mice that has the phenotype of dilated cardiomyopathy and we have some uh, protein candidate candidates which uh, we can use to improve heart function after dilation and dilated cardiomyopathy which recently we um, had a lot of good data on that and showed that it has a very good effective uh, response after treatment and overexpression of bad protein in the uh, heart, of cardi uh, heart of the mice. So if it works in the mice, then we need to take it to the next level. Yes, hopefully in the pig, and then we're going to test it on the PLN model that we have, and hopefully if we can see that it has the same effect on that animal model as well, that's going to be so promising. Because then after it has good results in the pig, yeah. that's where we start looking at using it in humans. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so exactly. we keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Yes, and of course. Keep going with we'll your keep very working. important work. Yes, yes we'll keep working very hard on it. Yeah. And to all our yeah, patients and carriers, these are the people who are really doing the work. <laughs> We're trying our hardest. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.